Hello and welcome to TG Solar's presentation of solar cell encapsulation. My name is Gary Gearing. TG Solar is located just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio, and sells in the United States in the United States and around the world. For today's demonstration, we will be using a 36 cell poly solar panel kit. This kit is available through our website tgsolar.us and through Amazon and eBay at TG Solar. The solar panel kit consists of glass, frame, 36 cells, a tab wire kit, and the encapsulant QSIL 216, which is a platinum based encapsulant made here in the United States. The first step in encapsulating your cells is to assure that all cells are working properly. You will check that each cell produces 0.5 volts and that your panel as a whole has a voltage of 18 volts or greater. Next you will glue the bus bars at the end of each cell row to the glass. Do not glue the cells themselves as this will cause them to break once the panel is put into service. With the bus bar along the top edge, slant your panel at a 45 degree angle. Then grab your QSIL 216, a metal or glass bowl, a popsicle stick or metal stirring item, and a disposable paintbrush. The QSIL for this demonstration is a one pound kit, 10 parts A, one part B, pre mixed, pre, pre measured. Slowly stir the two parts together Do not stir too vigorously as to not entrap air into the encapsulant. If you do get an excessive amount of air into the encapsulant, let the encapsulant sit for a period of time to allow the air to escape or you can use a vacuum chamber and draw down vacuum. The encapsulant has a four hour working life so you have plenty of time to do the job right. The next step will be to take the encapsulant and slowly pour it along the top edge of the solar cells on the panel. You will pass along the top edge multiple times so to evenly disperse the encapsulant. This process will take 30 minutes so give yourself time to do the job right. As you can see, we sped up the video for demonstration purposes. If you have thick spots of encapsulant, you can use the brush to move the encapsulant around the cells to thinner spots. At this point, however, I would not worry about this too much as you will be slanting the panel back and forth multiple times until all cells are covered.
Once the encapsulant has pulled at the bottom of the panel, remove the vo board and reverse the direction of flow on the panel. As you can see in the demonstration, as soon as you lift up the low end of the panel, the encapsulant starts to flow and covers spots that were missed on the first pour. You may have to repeat this step several times to get complete air removal from between the cells and the glass. Be patient as the as as the air slowly comes escapes the cells. As you can see in the video, there are several spots of air still left between the cell and the glass, so we will keep repeating this step until all the air has been removed. Once you are satisfied that the air is removed, you will remove the board and spread out the encapsulant evenly over all the backs of the cells. The final step in production of your panel is to press the cells down to the glass. To facilitate this, we are covering the backs of the cells with a plastic sheet. This will prevent the encapsulant from adhering to the weight that we put on the back of the panel. Carefully work your way around the panel, smoothing out the plastic and removing as much air from between the plastic and the encapsulant as possible. Do not disrupt the layout of the cells though, for it is easy to move them as they are floating in the encapsulant. Once you have the plastic smooth and you're happy that all the air is out of the plastic, you will then set a board over top the backs of the cells to hold all the cells tight against the glass. At this point you can set the panel aside and allow it to dry. In sunlight the panel should dry within a couple hours if the temperature is above 70. However, it is best to set the panel aside for a day or two and let the panel cure naturally slowly. Once the panel is cured, you can remove the plastic from the face and back of the panel. And when you lift up the solar panel, you will see that you have a completed solar panel that is well encapsulated and ready for years and years of service. Thank you for watching TG Solar's demonstration on solar cell encapsulation.